Kiss the Spider Woman uh, is a play based on a novel written in 1976 by Manuel Puig. Uh, it's based in an Argentinian prison and there's a gay prisoner and a radical left revolutionary incarcerated together. I play um, Melina, who is a gay window dresser. And um, he's been put in this cell with um, Valentine, and you probably couldn't get two more different men, and they would never mix in real life. They'd probably never even meet, and if they did, they'd probably have nothing to say to each other. Um, and really, I think the play is about what happens when you put two people like that together, and they are stripped of their identity, of any luxuries, of their belongings, of everything that they identify as making them them in their lives. I play Valentin, um, who is said political left, leftist Marxist revolutionary, who's been put inside uh, this prison for quite some time. Essentially, I guess what the play delves into is roles and masculine and feminine roles that we appoint people that we that we that we label people with i talked to david babani who's the artist artist here and said well if i can work with the writer on uh, mining the original novel and going back to that as the starting point to create a new version then i'm on board because i felt that, that also the sexual politics has moved on uh, so much and the book opens itself up to so many different versions and interpretations that actually you can make a very contemporary version because Puig was way ahead of his time in terms of looking at how uh, sex sexuality and the politics of camp and the politics of sexual roles, how that, how that can be as subversive as a more obvious political standpoint. So that he was looking at how sexual nonconformity was as political as someone who dedicate themselves to a cause um, and so I felt that was a much there was a much more contemporary um, version. This is not um, a gay play this is about humanity and compassion and connection and love and loneliness and it is about what happens when you are stripped of your identity and and who you really are as a human being everyone can relate to that um, it's funny it's surprisingly funny mm. I don't think I didn't think mm. It's practically a farce, it's not. But, <laughs> but I didn't know it was going to be as funny as it is because I think what people really get from it is, that, is the little um, funny things that happen between two human beings, those really mm. tiny interactions that happen every day. But there's also something really rare and brilliant for an audience, I think, to be able to come A, to such an intimate space to, and to B, watch such an intimate piece of theatre that is not the musical, is the play, and to watch essentially two people having a conversation for, for this period of time and, and how you see those two people transform over a period of time. And there's, you, know, you don't always get plays like that, you don't always get shows that, that strip things down just to, to these kind of bare human roots. And uh, stripping down there is. There, there is actually stripping down. If you come and see it for nothing else, come and see it for the stripping down.